Hi guys, name is Danielle and welcome to my little vlog where I basically go over a bunch of my makeup and just get indulged up. So if that's what you're into, then stick with me queens. Anyway, so as you can see my face, that's just my face. It has seen better days, I'm not gonna lie. I've got some thick skin above my eyelid. I've just got all sorts of, I don't know, acne scars and stuff that I'm gonna take care of. And of course the annoying, stubble that is just all over my face seriously i shave twice a day it gets thicker what who thought of this anyway so to get rid of those little problems i'm going to use the magic of makeup got some lovely foundation i've also got some eyeshadow that i'm going to be doing i'm really going to be doing all sorts so i don't know stay posted so to begin my lovely routine i like to basically just you know decompress, do a bit of mindfulness, not of course on the camera because that would be weird, but you know. Um, so first of all, I like to wash my face with a nice clean um, facial scrub, just like get my face all clean, remove as much dirt as possible from my face. Next, I use my moisturizer of choice, which is my Cetaphil moisturizer, which is very good. Now, as you can see, this one has run a bit low. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna literally try and eke out as much as possible. Just like, what can I even get on my hands? Okay, here's a bottle. What is even gonna come out of this? Oh my God, I shouldn't have done this one. Oh wait, wait, I'm actually getting some. Oh my God, there we go. So that is my moisturizer of choice. There we go. I don't need that anymore. So I'm just going to rub it and just like kind of just put it on my face like in little circles there. Again, I'm going to try to get as much as possible on my eyes, of course, where I've got red thick skin right now. So, not to mention my neck as well, because I want to try and cover everywhere. So, okay, so like a baby's bottom. So, that is basically my face all um, moisturized. So, try not to get it too close to my bald cap and I'm just going to put the extra moisturizer on my ears so that is all of the moisturizing done guys so next step I'm going to just apply a little bit of Vaseline to my lips and other areas that kind of get a bit dry during the day so just going to take a little bit of Vaseline out this tab and I like to buy it in bulk because when I go to sleep I like to clean my face put a vas lot of Vaseline on and that basically will help me to look young forever, apparently, or that's what they say on the internet. So, I don't know, just going to put a bit on my lips for now. Just because I live with a lipstick as well, it can tend to get a bit drier. And just a bit under my nose and on the sides. I don't want to get any Vaseline too close to my eyes because, of course, where I do the glue with the false lashes later on, there will be problems. So... Okay, so I've got that as much over uh, my lips as I can. As you can see, those are not, strictly speaking, my natural lips. I've had a tiny bit of lip filler. And when I say tiny bit, I mean 0.6. I should have got more, but I'm happy with this. I mean, I'll probably get more for Christmas or something to treat myself. I deserve it. But anyways, that is the Vaseline done. Next, I'm going to move on to this petroleum jelly. Now, this is like a cheaper substitute for Vaseline. I just like to put a bit of this on areas like my actual eyelashes and my eyebrows to kind of shape them in place it's just much easier to do so i'm just going to get a little bit of that on my finger try and scrape up the excess so a little bit on there a little bit on that and it just really helps to uh, hold it in place during the day so next i'm going to apply it on the eyelashes as well and that will already get them told later on. Now, to be honest, um, probably I do as little as po a li I do as little as possible in my routine to my eyebrows, just because I'm not at that stage yet where I've shaped them and they look perfect. I mean, I have shaped them, but I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. So I just like to give them like a little comb to get all of the hairs going in one direction. So I just like to comb it up here, and then just like taper it off when it gets to the side. So we're just going to do that. And we're going to do the same on that side. And as you can see on the eyebrows, you can barely see where I've kind of shaped it. So 
Okay, so that's the eyebrows, and now to get my eyelashes pointing upwards and looking all pretty. I do not use any mascara in this, I actually use um, just false lashes. So I'm going to use this, which is not a torture device, it is actually a, no you don't put your finger in there, it's actually a eyelash um, trimmer, which needs to be cleaned. I mean, how dirty and disgusting is that? Excuse me guys, one second, sorry. My hygiene is actually like quite impeccable, but I'm actually embarrassed by this. Like how did I forget to clean it before the video? Oh geez. Anyway, so that rubber thing has come off a bit as well. Everything just goes wrong when I decide to film a video, seriously. So I'm gonna put my eyelash in there, get as much as possible. And as you can see, it's pulling the actual hairs of my eyebrush um, upwards and with the uh, petroleum jelly that I've used as well, that should hopefully just allow them to stick in that place. So there we go. And as you can see, that is the desired effect. Now they are pointing way more upwards than these ones. So I'm just gonna do that on this side, so. And it also helps when having the false lashes just to have that extra bit of support from the natural eyelashes, which kind of the false lashes sit on top of, so. In case you're wondering why I don't use mascara, it's just kind of a bit difficult for me. I mean, especially where I've got like really sensitive skin around my eyes, which I keep on rubbing. I've got these styes and just like having the whole routine at night where I have to put Vaseline on it carefully, get as much mascara off as possible. I think it just does more harm. So that's why I use false lashes. But of course I try not to use a lot of glue because glue is problems with me. I try to use as little as possible. So before we actually get started on the actual makeup, I'm just gonna put this lovely choker on. So I got this nice little um, gothic choker from Amazon and I'm just gonna put it on quickly, so. Also, it has the other effect of hiding my gosh darn Adam's apple, which I absolutely hate, so I'm just going to hide that, and you know, if you can't see it, then it isn't there, so, you know, that is my logic, anyway. So, there goes the chain, and you know what, I shouldn't have actually done this with slippery fingers. Here I am, like, you know, got Vaseline all over my hands, now I'm trying to do up a chain, what the hell? I'm stupid, anyway. So that is the choker and it just looks so good, guys. So shake it there, okay. Oh my God, why does it look uneven? I'm so OCD, if it's like even slightly even, I'm gonna break it trying to get it even. Okay, that's actually okay, so. It's actually a riot, kind of has a, has a desired effect as well. So that is a choker and now let's get started on the extra makeup. So the makeup that I'm going to be doing First should probably be the eyeshadow. Now this is my lovely Spectrum eyeshadow palette. Oh, and by the way, I should have mentioned when I was doing the styling, this is just like a normal um, brow stick. Of course, it's like blonde. I don't really use that end though, because you know, this style in my eyebrows, I haven't got to it yet. So I just use like the normal dry mascara one to do my eyebrows. So, but with the Spectrum eyeshadow, Got all of these lovely colours and of course guys, what is my favourite colour? Have you guessed yet? Yeah, that's it, that's purple, the one with the most missing. So I'm going to be doing some lovely purple eyeshadow, so I'm just going to get a bit of it onto this main brush and I'm going to get it, try and get it as like much over each eye as possible, so here's this eye. Just put a good bit on there that I can spread around and also this one. Now because this brush is way too big and clumsy, I'm just going to put this to one side and use my smaller brush. Now I'm just going to lightly get a lot of purple substance on it and try to create a little arc from the corner of my eye. So. Wow, I'm going to try to follow that across as much as possible. And this should in fact line up quite nicely with my um, eyeliner when I'm done. Sorry, I already struggle speaking and doing the eyeshadow at the same time. So forgive me if I'm quiet for a bit, so. Okay, there we are, it looks a bit patchy. But liquid eyeshadow is pretty terrible, so this one will have to do, um, at least on my skin. Do 
you know what? I'm actually happy with that eyes. So I'm going to go on to the next one now. Just get a little bit on and do the arc again. So. I want to get my face as close as possible to the camera, which is, you know, not exactly ideal. Don't know. Don't want you guys seeing up my nose or anything. Um, so I down. Um, whenever I do like a makeup like video, I'm always like maximum insecure. Seriously. Um, Oh my god, is that an arch or is that like a mistake or something? Just like, geez. Um, especially where it's more fine, it kind of drags on the skin and the moisturizer and kind of results in that. So I'm just going to touch it up a bit more and then leave it so. Otherwise, I swear down, I'll be on it for like 10 minutes or something. Um, so. <sighs> okay, that is pretty okay. Now I'm going to put the eyeshadow away. As you can tell, I don't have a lot of experience doing eyeshadow. I don't like to do it a lot of the time because I just like to let my lovely false lashes do the work. So. I'm just going to take this combat. And just try my best to shake it, to shape it and remove any excess. So. And. Cool. I've just done the same on that side as well. So now I'm going to go into the eyeliner and what I like to do is use a bit of sellotape on my face. So I like to get off just a little bit of sellotape. <clears throat> just enough to do the eyeliner. So I'm going to stick this at the angle that I want it. So right under the bottom of my lashes kind of lining up with the corner of my eyebrow and the eyeshadow and now I'm just going to stick that all down onto my face so now I'm going to use my eyeliner which is the IO Captain eyeliner that is the wrong way around but don't worry about it so So it actually makes my face go like real hard in like this place here, is it? This must be what it's like to have Botox. Just like put sellotape on your face and you're just like, seriously. Um, okay, so now I'm just gonna dip, 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 dip and use it, so. Doing a little triangle, so. Here. Here. And that, and that is basically the triangle that we're going to go for with the eyeliner, guys. So, and of course, hopefully, the sellotape is going to fulfill its function of making this look as non. Uh, patchy as possible and as straight as possible so it's kind to go to the corner again and as you can see I've came down tried to get some of the substance on my lower um, eyelashes, wow, that is pretty big, but of course it will look less big when we take the sellotape away. So I'm just going to leave that 
a bit to dry it and when I say a bit I only mean like a few seconds so fan 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 and let's see the results so as you can see that is very straight but of course there is a big clump there which has unfortunately got under the tape which is a shame normally I would use you know this but that just tends to wipe more of the black substance everywhere so I'm not actually going to do that I'm just going to move on to the other eye so here we go exactly the same thing and down so and as you can see that will be a pretty similar angle so here we go with the dip 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 and let's go so just gonna press it down a bit more because it was a bit insecure last time obviously um so one two three and that's a little triangled fellow so Gonna come straight across from the corner to the end of my eye. I actually need to get like a way better skincare routine. I actually like better stings sometimes when I just like apply um eyeliner to the styes on the bottom of my eyes i'm told that's because i don't get like a good amount of sleep but i don't know should probably read more into it anyway and it's looking reasonably okay so there we go and i'm kind of happy with that so i mean i'm not exactly happy with it but it's a makeup vlog i can't spend forever and ever like i usually do just like precisely going every, over everything so now we take the take the tape away and as you can see that is kind of straight kind of anyway so yeah i'd say i'm pretty happy with that probably more so this one than that one just because it has like oh my god i'm actually annoyed i'm probably going to try and do something stupid and actually try and um get just a little bit of it off this corner here and this bump here very quickly i won't be one second so yeah. Okay, that is pretty okay. I'm happy with that. So, again, I've just kind of got those places off, and that is still the corner of my style. I thought that would have been hidden, guys. But um, anyway, so the next step is the full slashes. So I either do these like either very very quick or either very very slow. So as you can see, these are the full slashes that I'm using. I got them on Amazon, and they're basically decal uh, lashes, and they also have some lovely coloured flares on the bottom excuse me they're stuck together so that is just the extent of the decal as you can see it's very prominent and of course the coloured flares are going to go on the ends of my eyes so it's going to go literally like that that so I'm just going to put a teeny weeny tiny bit of glue on top my makeup sponge just went on the floor and went on my shoe but you know I'm going to use it because I'm disgustingly unhygienic seriously I probably need to get like a new makeup sponge but I don't know I'm going to replace it after this I'm just like I always leave it to the last possible second I'm just like it still has a good few you know dabs left in it it'll be fine and then like I look at it and it's all like one of those oh my god grotesque spongebob memes and now I just dropped the glue in the bath what the hell anyway Oh man, oh my god, I hope that didn't get wet, so I'm just going to get a tiny bit more glue on it, so. Okay, this is just going swimmingly, guys, honestly, so. Just going to put a tiny bit of glue on that, so as you can see, it's not even that much, so. Just like a long, thin, white line, so now I'm going to try my best to unwet my hands with this conveniently placed towel. And now I'm going to 
uh, beginner plan it. So, I mean, again, I really want to try hard not to blink. So, okay, I've just tried to get it right in the corner. That's okay, but it's not perfect. So I'm just going to try that one more time. So. Okay, a bit of glue has gone in my eye, but that's fine. Oh my God, that is annoying. And like I'm reflexively blinking at the same time and I'm getting somehow more glue into my eye. What the hell? So I'm just going to take another one of these. I'm going through these so fast, guys, honestly. And now I'm going to... Just stab that in my eye stupidly and now the entire thing has fallen off. So, okay, this one's probably going to take way longer than I expected, so... I bet the other one I only take a second, but... Ah, <sighs> she's like, well, I'm pushing it more up. And I've wasted a lot of glue, oh my god. my life right now <sighs> this is why i need to do more yoga by the way guys me and makeup sometimes just makes me so stressed honestly but I'd probably say I'm reasonably happy with that and it's as close as we're going to get. So I don't know, a bit gloomy. So now I'm going to move on to the other one. So dip, dip, dip. And where did the other one go? Oh yeah, I put it there. Okay, this is going to be easy. You don't even worry about it. It's going to be fine. Um, again, just a light bit of glue. Oh my God, that's way too much glue. I need to spread that out. Okay, it's actually okay. So I'm going to put that back in the glue now. And you know what, also, is probably why I put like a bit of Vaseline close to the um, eyelashes as well, which is kind of, you know, the opposite of making it stick. So I just need to be like, stop wrapping my eyes at the end of the day because like the skin on my eyelids gets so hard and it's like, I'm blinking and it's like, it's like mechanical, honestly. Um, Okay, that feels like it's going reasonable. It's going to... Do that and that's actually lovely so those are my decal eyelashes just going to hold that in the corner for a tad just because i feel it's a bit loose so excuse me okay so that is all done Still a bit loose, maybe I didn't use enough glue. Okay, that will have to do. And now I'm going to be doing my contouring. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, you may be wondering what's contouring. Well, contour, what's contour? 
I can't even speak seriously. Well, contouring is like this. You take a big contour stick, so 7W contour stick, one end's got a light end, which is for highlights, and the other end's got a dark end, which is not for highlights. And oh my God, my eyelash is coming off. It's just like literally sitting on my lower eyelashes, seriously. So it's strange, whenever I do a video, it takes me like 10 minutes to do my eyelashes. When I don't do a video, in the morning, it's like only like 30 seconds to do both of them, or seriously. Maybe it's because of all the extra sets I'm doing, because I want to try and get as much makeup in as possible while I'm doing this video, so. And now this stick, so I'm going to take this and just go over the parts that I want to highlight, so that is. A nice thin line down my nose to slim it. Also a nice fat line under my eyes. To highlight my cheekbones, I'm just gonna do another one of those also. Put on my chin and down the sides and now with the dark end, I'm going to Kind of like that, do it a few times, just to get that deep impression. Okay, that's pretty reasonable. So, and now, some dark bits in the corner of my nose. I don't usually do it as well, but you know what, I'll do it. I usually do, Some highlights there and like that. Now I look like a tiger or now all the cat from Garfield or something. Nah, not even that cringe. Anyway, so now I use my disgustingly um, rotten, foul makeup sponge, which fell on the floor of all places. And now I'm just going to blend in those areas. So I'm going to use one side of it to do the dark places. And I'm only going to do that as much as possible. Oh my God. Blend down you. Also on the top as well. Also on that bit. The intensity, seriously. So that's all done. Top bit as well, and then highlight. So, just going to rub that across the bottom of my face to get a lot of colour on, and now I'm just going to pat it. Some on the bottom there as well. Try and fade that line. Also do the highlights under my eyes. Same with this one. Okay, and Going to blend that a bit more. And just do these highlight lines here to kind of lift my brows a bit. Okay, that's reasonably okay. I mean, that is pretty much all the highlight in, so. And of course it needs to be blended a bit more in some places, but I could literally do this all day. 
so I'm not going to. Instead, I'm going to move on to the lips now because that is what everyone wants to see, honestly. It's going to very lightly go over that area again. Okay, that is pretty much done. So now that that's all done and my necklace is just looking gorgeous, I'm going to go on to the highlighting. The lipstick is what I mean. I've already done the highlighting, duh. Anyway, so I really torn between what lipstick I, what lipsticks I should use. So I've actually got two lipsticks. I've got this lipstick queen one, which is just so slow, and I've also got this one here. I mean, this one was my favourite for ages. So I'm going to see like how much of it there is, and just kind of work with it. So I'm going to get the shape of my lips. So. Just gonna spread a lot of that on the bottom. Take a little bit up there as well. And now I'm gonna try to like get the more refined shape and everything. And oh my God, the most annoying thing ever, I have an itch and it's like right under my nose or where the lipstick is. And what I'm gonna do, seriously, um, Just for poking it, that will solve the problem, honestly. So, whoa. I'm gonna just stare at the lines though. Of course, I like to overdraw them just slightly, only slightly though. Okay. Okay, that looks reasonably okay. Now I'm just gonna bring that side down. I'm not done yet. I'm just literally trying my best to get the shape and everything. Okay, I'm just gonna go over the top one more time. Okay. It's like where you think you're not gonna go over it a lot and then it's like, oh my God, surprise. Okay. Um. Get a little bit more on it, so. Oh my God, it's like, where I've got that thing now, I have to, oh, okay. The hell? Oh my god. Okay. It's like why I'm doing it with one hand as well. Why am I lazily? Why am I holding it with both hands, honestly? And that is why you hold your lipstick with both hands. Because if you do it with one hand, you're gonna be like, I'm fine. I'm just like, like totally lazy and that happened. Now I've got some kind of Joker-esque smile going on, so. 
I'd have to try and crank that later on. But yeah, that is basically the end of the makeup tutorial. And I just like to give myself a little spray with where's my setting spray? There's my setting spray. The Dewy Fixer setting spray. So I'm just going to spray my face with that. I actually swallowed some glue, that was terrible. Try not to blink, guys. And um, yeah, so that was probably, to be honest, I'm just putting rid of lipstick. I should have used more glue on the eyelash. I, in hindsight, shouldn't have done the eyeshadow just because I hate using eyeshadow. I just think it looks better. Anyway, especially on my big, you know, under eyes. Anyway, so that is basically the, you know, tutorial oh my god this one's longer as well geez i man screw my head back on after this makeup tutorial anyway so that is basically the makeup tutorial and now let me just dawn my wig because you know i have a wig did, did you not know this i'm sorry if it's no information for you but um yeah i don't know just to like cut it off and everything so okay doggy here we go and oh my god is it gonna go on oh my god so I actually cut the bangs a bit short, so I have to have it like way more forward than it would usually be. Oh my god, you see that? Jeez. Okay, so there it goes. Oh my god, can you go on please? Jeez. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So just wanna do that a bit and I take the corners of each side, just tuck it behind the ear. And then I let the locks just come forth and that, oh my God. And that is just the thing. So of course the hair is doing a lot, but you know, the makeup's doing a lot of heavy lifting as well. So that has basically been my makeup tutorial guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And I don't know if you like, you know, have just any comments, like feel free to put them in the comment section, just like any pointers, anything that you do, please share the deets, queen. I need it. And um, yeah, of course, that is just, you know, my process and just like my method for doing my makeup and everything. But I'd really like to hear like what you guys think and everything. As long as it's not, you know, that, you know, garbage I get on some of our videos where it's just like, God says in the Holy Bible and blah, 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 you know, boys are boys and boy women are women. Just like, okay. The makeup tutorial. Some people just like read too much into it, but I'm sure you won't be those type of commenters. Anyway, so that was the makeup tutorial. I've already said that, and I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I will see you soon. So, slay queens or something, because I apparently didn't say that enough during the video. So, got like notes behind me just remembering like what to say. So, slay queens on my noteboard. Anyway, cool. Bye. Cool. Oh my god. It's actually the makeup, by the way, so. And that is like, okay. I'm happy with it, so. Cool.